So let me tell you about my day so far. It is like two o'clock and I woke up at six because I had to finish a job on fiber. Finished that, went back and took like a nap and woke up just was like, hey, I'm gonna give myself some lunch, like a normal average every day. But then I went down to go get lunch and this happened. the owner's birthday and I got free cake. Yum. So I'm pretty sure it's canceling out anything that that was providing me but worth it. <laughs> this is like the world's smallest bird for the giant piece of cake. <laughs> I can't even I can't even get it on the fork man. Ah. The struggle is real. And then, also, my boss told me that they accidentally booked my room out for this full moon. So it's like four days or five days or something of this month. And that they need me to move and move to a different place, which is fine. Whatever. I'm actually excited about that because I like living in different places. And I was kind of thinking last night how it would be nice to sleep somewhere else. Um, and so they took me to go see the place. Which is great. Like it's actually, I, I didn't have my camera, so I couldn't take you with me. But it's really cool. It's a it's a, a house with a kitchen and a separate bedroom and everything. And so I'm really excited about that. Although ironically, next month is when I have all the meetings on this side of the island, and so I'm probably gonna have to pay a fortune in taxis. But whatever. So I haven't taken a shower yet. I haven't drank coffee yet. And I'm already exhausted, and today is a ridiculous day already, and it's gonna get even more ridiculous. So, ah. Okay, <laughs> I I don't know how well the volume will be in here, but they're not going too fast, so maybe it'll work. I'm on my way to Tongsa lot to go meet the gang, do a little bit of work. Got some lunch from 7-Eleven, um, bottle of water, little sandwich thing, and... I'm not really sure what's inside of it, probably pork, but all together it was like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, so gonna eat and enjoy the ride. Um, so now I gotta find Nira's Bakery. I've only been here once, but I think I know where it is. I don't want to get out my map if I don't... Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Got right in that guy's way. Not my fault. Anyway. I'm trying to find this place without a map. I just realized that... I told you I've only been to Nira's once, but you've seen me go there several times. Well, there's two Nira's. There's probably more than two. There's one two blocks from my house, and then there's this one, which is in Tongsala and much further away, and I've only been to this one. Once. I decided to, um, before I went to Nira's, to go get my ferry ticket because I have to take a ferry at 5 a.m. tomorrow, and I mean, it just makes sense to buy it now, right? But I found this really cool thing it's a giant navy boat. Random. Down the pier. 
see if I can find the office. Signs aren't great. I need um, a ticket to Surat Tani for 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? I am, in the morning. Morning? Morning, uh, yeah. You, you buy tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, tomorrow, uh, 5 a.m. Oh, I can't you buy it today? You coming at uh, 4.30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I can't buy it today? No. Oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. No buying today. This is what I get when I try to be prepared. Nope, no, not allowed. Not allowed in Thailand. <laughs> Found near us without a map. There's me using all, all the plugins to get ready for my trip tomorrow. I did something the other day that was not, oh, that wasn't here. It was like coffee. I don't have that. Oh, how are their cafe moments? I, that's what I want. I wonder if they're good. Look at that. I swear I only buy them because they're pretty. Spicy in it. So I don't know, probably like chili or something. Yeah. It's got a lot of flavors. It's chocolate and it's coconutty. And it's it's chili powdery. That's not bad. 45 baht, so costs as much as my lunch did. <laughs> like dollar thirty-ish. Not bad. Alright. So now it's dark. And I'm gonna go find the hostel that I'm staying at tonight. I think it's easier because I have to be back here at 4.30 in the morning, so it doesn't make sense to go home and then come back because the hostel's like $2.40. So, it's called Vagabond Hostel, and I, it has really good ratings, so hopefully. And then we're gonna go to the night market. Cause that's always fun. Okay, Thank you. Do you want
So I've arrived in my room at Vagabond Hostel and it's supposed to be a six person room but I'm the only one in here. If you've never stayed at a hostel before um, this might look kind of strange to you but the way that hostels are different than hotels is the fact that you often share a bedroom and um, bathroom and then there's like a common meeting area where you can go meet some people um, and so you save a lot of money that way because it can fit more people into the room so I mean I'm paying about 250 or something for this room which is crazy crazy cheap but unfortunately it's already like 10 and I have to wake up at 4 so I don't really have a lot of time but I'm gonna call that a night guys um, peace out and wait Guys may or may not have figured it out by now, but I'm kind of a big scaredy cat and a baby. So the fact that I'm doing this making my heart beat a little bit. Mostly because I'm also kind of scared of heights. Kind of a lot. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be worth it when we get to that point, way down there where those people are.